this is, this is how far our morality has gone. We need to teach kids to save themselves for marriage. And a lot of these problems wouldn't be having. And if you do decide to engage in consensual marriage before, sex before marriage, and you get pregnant, that's the cost of the game. All right, okay. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Performance. Today, we're going to be checking out another video by Charlie Kick titled, Charlie Kick Debates Pro-Choice Woman. Charlie Kick Debates Pro-Choice Woman. Wow. I believe this is going to be another interesting and educative video. So, let's start with the video. Go. Thank you so much for coming out here and for like facing disagreements first, I guess. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, I had another question coming up here, but I really, I, the bait is there and I have to take it. Um, okay. <laughs> so I am also pro-choice and I was wondering how, um, like you, you said um, to the previous dude back there that um, the government in cases where human life is at risk should step in through any means necessary, be it through mandates, be it through bans, things like that, right? Again, that was a hypothetical answer. Let me clarify it. I think the Please, government yeah. has a moral obligation to protect innocent life when confronted with the question of someone intervening, intervening to end that life. All right. So if a police officer standing idly by and he sees someone on the side of the street and someone is going by to about to kill them, the police officer being an agent of the government has a moral right to intervene. I'm sorry, I do have to take like a little bit of a caveat here. So the behavior of the police officers in the Uvalde shooting was disgusting. Oh, I totally agree. Do you believe? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but guess what? I'm consistent. The cowardice that happened at Uvalde is the cowardice we allow to happen when there's a million abortions in our country every single year. All right, okay, okay. Which is standing idly by when children unspeakably get massacred. I don't know, I think there's a bit of a difference and the analogy that I usually use or the question that I usually ask pro-life people is, um, do you believe that the government should mandate organ donation even in cases of like, things like donating your kidney or right now we have a policy where even after death, if you know you have like religious things where you have to- oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, you. No, <laughs> where you know your whole body has to be intact in order for like burial rights and things like that to happen. We say that you shouldn't have to donate your organs, but the pro-life case seems to extend to the idea that even people who are living should have to give up their kidneys to people in hospitals, maybe who need kidneys. Well, I don't quite see it that way. Um, okay. But what makes a uterus different? Well, first of all, Sorry. again, in ninety-nine point six seven percent of the cases the woman made a choice that could potentially- but What about those 0.4%? What do you think should happen then? Oh, I think the baby should be delivered, of course, because I'll give you an example. Let me just prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds, and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex- Well, of, of wh course. Which one is it? <laughs> they, they look the same, right? I do, I, I do But understand. you can't tell because they're both human beings. Oh. And in, in Western morality, of which I'm defending tonight, doing something wrong after something evil it's never the right thing. So do you think that government should mandate organ donation? No, and I think it's a false equivalency for, so? more, for more reasons than one, for a lot of different reasons. By, by the question of, do I think the, the government should come in and protect innocent life from being slaughtered? Of course I do, yes. And that, that's the answer. So, I mean, when it comes to mandating organ donations, I don't even see how that's applicable to the question. Because in 99.6% of the cases, 6-7% of the cases, the mother made a choice to be able to get pregnant. Now, in the very small micron kind of case, then the case is that the, the, human, the human life and the human being needs to exist. So they need to be, able to, to be able to exist. All right. I'm going to argue that different forms of birth control have um, like different forms of like effectiveness. And someone can, could be like potentially on birth control using those control methods and it fails, is that just a risk that like someone- Yeah, so I, I'm gonna say something. Th this, is, this is how far our morality has gone. We need to teach kids to save themselves for marriage. And a lot of these problems wouldn't be having. And if you do decide to engage in consensual marriage before, sex before marriage, and you get pregnant, that's the cost of the game. All right, okay. 
Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. What a very interesting topic. Titled Chala Kick the Bait Pro Choice Woman. Wow. You can tell the answer Chala Kick gave, they are really right on point. And I don't know about you, but I really feel that I don't think there is any reason to justify taking the life of 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 the baby, taking the life of uh, uh as you might call it, some might call it embryo or fetus. I don't think there's any reason to justify uh, that you have to really take the life of the baby. Just like Chalakik has rightly explained that, that Chalakik has rightly explained that if you decide to engage in conceptual sex, sex before marriage, you should know that there is a cause for it. There's a cause for it. So the fact that you have decided to engage in such activity, which resulted in the pregnancy. So I don't think there's any reason why the, the baby has to be aborted. Just like Charlie Kick has rightly said that the government have the moral obligation to intervene when 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 uh, the life of uh, another person, when the life of someone wants to be taken. Just like Charlie Kick has rightly explained, in order to prevent to prevent such cases if you know uh you do, you don't want to you don't want to uh take part in any form of abortion or all that you have to you have to avoid sex before marriage that's the only way you can be so so sure that you can't pregnant you can't get pregnant because there's no way you'll be pregnant when you don't engage in sex but if you decide to engage in sex you should know that there is there there is a cost for it and if it results in you getting pregnant you can't say you never plan for the pregnancy you are not prepared for it. the fact that you decided to take part in the activity it means you are ready to bear the cost of your action though i know that there are some cases there are some cases like rape there are some cases like rape and Charlie Kick has rightly also explained that you can't decide to pay evil with evil. You can't say just because just because you are you can't say because you are raped, that means you have to terminate the child, you have to terminate the life of the child. Uh, some people might call it, they might call it. I think I watched a video that uh someone uh, someone was also saying that is is self abortion is self-defense. And to, to an extent, to an extent, even when the person is raped, I believe, I believe the, 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 the child in the womb doesn't, doesn't know what came into play. And I believe uh, we should not pay evil with evil. So I believe there's no reason for anyone to engage in abortion. Just like he rightly explained, if, 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 the, there is a baby that is that is conceived uh, the normal way, and there's a baby that is conceived through rape, and they bring these two baby together and place them in in one uh, and place them in the same place for you to be able to identify the one that is conceived through the normal way and the one that is conceived through rape. There's no way you can identify. So I believe just like Charlie Kick has rightly explained. There is nothing you can say to justify that abortion should that abortion is the right thing to do. And believe me, I've really learned a lot from this. This is very educative. And I would like to hear your comments. What can you say about the point Charlie Kick has given? And don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>